Hey, it's Chris Kirkpatrick back here with Life 180 and my buddy and friend. I'm sick of introducing this guy, like, but he's my awesome. little brother. My I, little brother. Brother. I, I, exactly. I want to get closer to the know, family every video. He, he so, much <laughs> so, so um, we're going through the the perils of your uh, 401k, and we're on number three right now. And number three here is really simple. It's the fact that you just don't have access to your money. When you put your four money in your 401k, yeah. you lose access to it, right? Yeah. Most companies, they lock it up unless you like move jobs or change jobs. Yeah. And there are certain ways you can get access, but for the most part, it's pretty locked up. Yeah. And if you do access it, there are all sorts of fees or penalties. Yeah. And you know, even if you take a loan, there are restrictions and challenges and yeah. like whatever. So, and I know you're really passionate about this. I'm super passionate about this too, but yeah. like you're really passionate. Yeah, about I'm, this, I'm right? really like passionate you're, about you're this. And I will say the anger has increased. There's there's two <laughs> two examples. One angry. yeah, <laughs> uh, two examples. Number one, a client came to us and they're like, Caleb, we read your book. We love what you're all about. We want to work with you. And it, they had a ton of money in the 401k. Didn't have a money elsewhere because that was their sole yeah. deal. And they yeah. literally couldn't. He this person had to leave his job to have access to that money. They could not access that money. So that number one kind of like shocked me. I'm like, I, I thought 401ks were bad, but I didn't know they were this bad. The other example is someone that's very, very smart, mm -hmm. actuary by trade, and had this, again, the same concept. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use 401k to actually fund this strategy. And she found out after the fact that she could not do it. And, and in fact, her hands mm -hmm. are more tied because of her pursuing that. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm actually gonna throw another curveball at you. Oh, and, it, and it's this idea of hostage cost, okay? I can't wait to hear this. What is the value or what is the actual cost or effect to your life having your mon money held hostage? It's huge. It, it depends. It depends on what you're going to use your money throughout your life. So one of the big things that we are super passionate about, both you, Chris mm -hmm. and I, are your greatest financial need is using your money. Mm -hmm. Like, think about it. Who's teaching you better ways to use your money throughout your life? Um, nobody. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. Like, it's just, we're not being taught, like, oh, using your money like is actually very important investing like being being understanding how the flow of money works yep. so probably one of the biggest problems that i have with the 401k is they're literally an account that you put your money in and you can practically not have access to it and if you do it's super restricted yeah. and and you almost get penalized for touching it mm -hmm. and if you take your money out you're getting crushed with taxes and fees mm -hmm. and and my my point is there's going to be opportunities that come throughout your life maybe you're in real estate maybe you're a business uh, person and you get that already i don't need to tell you having access to capital is important <laughs> but maybe you're not and maybe you're don't have any control over your money and who knows maybe a market will will collapse and the people that have access to money will end up winning or just we look at the debt we look at emergencies that are happening yeah i just see these being the sole place that people are putting their money and i see them almost putting their money and almost locking their hands behind can, their on their back can i add something into that yeah because, absolutely because i think i get fired up about this and and i think one of the reasons that i get angry about it is or frustrated is that, we're so angry that, i know we're so mad is that, is that people are i think the reason they do it is because they're being driven by fear yeah um maybe you know and well and and it's it's one of those things where think about it this way like what's more scary than running into a financial crisis and not being able to access your money right like it the, i to me one of the saddest hmm. things in the world is hmm. somebody who's saved i mean it's i mean yeah. it's sad when somebody wants to like has this epiphany and they realize like oh my gosh i'm not doing the best thing with my with my money yeah. in my 401k so i want to go do this other strategy right and they can't yeah. they can still do something they can pivot but what's worse than that is when somebody runs in a financial crisis totally and totally. or has a, a, a crisis in their family maybe their wife gets sick or their husband gets sick yeah. or a parent gets sick and they they need access to cash or their kid has something happen to them yeah. and they need access to cash and they got five hundred thousand or two hundred thousand in a four hundred one k and they need 20 grand yeah, and they 50, can't get it. 50,000 50 grand and they can't get it. Yeah. To me, that's like, that should be criminal. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and that's what really ticks me off. Yeah. Like, you know, the, it, to me, that's the horrible thing. And so even if you want to access it though, yeah. you got to pay penalty. Yeah. You got to pay taxes. Yeah. You know, and, and, and good luck trying to get your money quickly. Right. Those yeah. are the three problems. I, yeah. I, we talk about Albert Einstein saying that the, the eighth one of the world is compound interest, which yeah. I don't actually think he said that. I think he was misquoted for saying that, but let's say he did. Okay. Um, I, I'll go on record to say 
if you understand the ninth wonder of the world, which is control, yeah. it blows away the, the eighth wonder. And we mm -hmm. have videos in this series yeah. talking about the importance of compounding. For I believe sure. in the value of having your money grow over time. That's math. Mm -hmm. But if you give me one or the other, I'm gonna choose control every single time because mm -hmm. I know and I would want and I seek control over the next 20, 30 years because yes. I know my greatest asset is myself. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is not only, I'm, I'm super passionate about what we get to do and yeah. what's the value of being passionate about right. changing people's lives. And oh, by the way, money follows value, I think we're gonna make a little bit more money in the process of changing people's lives than what the market could. And mm -hmm. so if you're telling me that I have to lock up my money or I can't touch it, hopefully it grows and we're not even getting into the taxes right now. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness, like this yeah, this is what gets me going. Yeah. And I just want people to think, like if you're watching this before you write a hateful comment, like <laughs> just come, like f put yourself in our shoes and, and understand that it's not just the 401k, there's most things that people are doing with their money are giving up control. And I just want you to understand and start put a value, mm -hmm. put a value on control because we have a value on growth. Put a value on what does control mean and how important is it in your life? And it might not be important at all and that's okay. That is really okay, I, as long as you understand that you're not valuing control. Can we, can we talk about control for a second? And yeah. like why control is so important? Like, because, yeah. because I think a lot of people they hear that and they go, okay, yeah, of it's course, fluffy. I'm a control freak. I want to yeah. control things in my life. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. okay, that's great. But why? When you control, when you have real control of your money and it's not just sitting in some locked up account, that's when you have the opportunity for opportunity, right? Yeah, like, totally. Like one of the things that I love about, about the strategy that we both use and, and yep. like what we coach people through is that it gives you more security, yep. more guarantees, yep. more opportunity because yep. you have more control. Yes. Right? Yes. Like, that's it. And the control leads to opportunity. Like, let's talk about, I always kind of tell people this, the market is cyclical. It's not linear. It doesn't just go up at 8% average every year. It goes up and then it goes down. It yep. goes up slowly mm -hmm. and it goes down violently. I mean, it yep. does. I don't want to be dramatic, but that's what happens. And so Warren Buffett says, the time to make money is when there's blood in the streets. Yeah. That's not my quote. It's gruesome, but it's his. Yeah. And and that's true. And so when you have control of your money in those times when, you know, when the violence is happening and if you have it structured properly and it's guaranteed yeah. and you're not dealing with lost money because the worst thing you could do to a lost account is take money out of it when you've lost it. Cause, totally. Right? So if you're dealing, you're setting yourself up to just like yeah. completely catapult your life forward. The life, if you want to create wealth, I think every person who's ever mm -hmm. created wealth that you've, you've interviewed that I've ever talked to, yeah. they don't get wealth by being like, I'm going to slowly grow my way to wealth, no, right? No. They go, how do I structure so I can be secure? So I can how build a foundation and then how do I catapult myself to wealth? Correct. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, and and it's interesting that I'm, this is something I'm just thinking about as yeah. you're talking, the people that have access to money are able to think in a whole different headspace. Yeah. And in our lives, when we've yeah, been yeah. worried about money, Love it. you can almost tell via the video, mm -hmm. oh, this guy is like trying to sell me something because sure. he needs something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas if you do it out of a genuine heart and having control over your wealth actually lets you show up more powerfully in your life. For sure. I love it. This, love is, it, this is fun. Oh, I love this. So, all right, that's number three. Can't wait to get into number four. Go out and crush it. We'll see you on the next video.